Yo, peace. Last name to God. Keep low family. What's good with y'all? Yo, dig. Look, I got some breaking news for y'all on the Diddy situation, you feel me? All right, so I wrote some notes down for y'all, so bear with me a minute, I ain't gonna just go through this, but we gonna get into this shit, you feel me? And yo, Dig, before we get into this shit, if you not subscribed to this channel, hit that fucking thumbs up button, cause there's gonna be some real shit. And um, hit the notification bell, so you'll be notified when I drop more fire con content, and hit that um red subscribe button, you already know what it is. So let's get into this shit, right? All right, look. This is just my humble opinion. You feel me? On this shit first, right? All right, let me tell y'all the news first. The news, this is the facts. Diddy got his ass in trouble inside the feds, right? Now, check it. When he first got gobbled up, that means he got them click clacks on his wrist, the handcuffs, right? And the alphabet dudes gobbled him up. So when they gobbled him up, they took him to the feds, right? So he went to the joint. In Brooklyn, right? It's now been one week since the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. Diddy is now at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, a place that's been described as hell on earth. Fox News' Lisa Evers is at MDC right now on Diddy's life behind bars. Lisa, what are you finding out tonight? Well, Natasha and Steve, for the first time in his life, Sean Diddy Combs has spent a week behind bars. He's here inside MDC, where he's been since his arrest on Monday night on federal sex trafficking and other charges, to all of which he's pleaded not guilty. There's no VIP section. There is no concierge, only con men, killers, and kingpins. They took him to the feds, right? So he went to the joint in Brooklyn, right? A federal detainer center and shit, right? And it's like not a good spot. But none of them shits is a good spot. You feel me? But this one is trashed out. And then there's a lot of dangerous dudes in there because they facing a lot of time. The alphabet dudes scratch, snatch them up. They not on Rikers Island. I'm from New York. Trust me when I try to told you. Anyway, well, um, Diddy, Diddy got, there's a lot of people saying Diddy's a billionaire. Yeah, he is. He got a billion dollars. There's a lot of people saying Diddy got a dream team of lawyers, you know, like the O.J. Simpson shit, right? But look, here's the difference. When you get gobbled up, when you go in jail, how many niggas inside that federal shit did he know? He don't really associate with niggas that's on a lower level like that or dealing with the criminal element too much, you feel me? So when he went in there, Anybody who ever been in jail, because I've been locked up on Rikers Island and all that shit. But look, and I've been with the alphabet dudes. But anybody who ever been gobbled up in jail, or if you've never been gobbled up in jail, listen to me. None of them niggas in there is your motherfucking friend. Now, you might get associated with niggas if you stay there for a long duration of time. You might get associated with the people... And you might develop relationships. And some of them might, might be a man's out there while, right? But initially on going in that shit, none of them niggas is your man. So you're supposed to know that, right? So nigga say, yo, what's up, son? What you in here for? You start running your mouth. That's detrimental to you. Because you're not supposed to be discussing your case with nobody. Now let's get into this Diddy situation. All right, look. So it's certain shit your money can't buy. You feel me? And your money can't make you know how to jail, like how to do a bed. Like, I, I've been locked down before, so I could just, you know, make my moves and run around and do whatever the fuck I got to do when I'm, I'm a different nigga. But look, money can't buy certain shit, you feel me? So look, Diddy don't know, well, I'm pretty sure he know this, like if he's in jail, but this is what the feds did to him. They put him in 23 isolation, 23 hours a day, like isolation. It's called IPC, involuntary protective custody. Because this dude's in there like me. That is, see, that nigga has a meal ticket. And when in a wolf see prey, they gonna go at it. You feel me? And look, even if it's through friendly persuasion, if they just roll up on him like, yo, son, look, these niggas in here wanna get you. But all them niggas is my mans. And I'm telling you, look, instead of we just going in and hit this nigga up, so like I was telling y'all, right, look, these dudes who will go over to him, like, they all be like, we can hit him up and try to put pressure on him, but now he gonna tell the police and some sucker shit. So I be like, 
I go over to him and I be like, my men's in them want to get at you, or these dudes over there want to get at you, but them niggas is pussy or whatever, and I could put pressure on them or whatever. Me and my team got it or whatever. Just feed that nigga whatever, right? But he gonna be looking for a friend. You feel me? Because look, he just got out of staying in. The feds did this shit on purpose. He he been in 23 hour lock in because he can't come out there with the wolves because dudes will get him. You feel me? And look, then there's dudes who will just punch him in his face or will poke that dude because of what he did to Cassie. You feel me? So he's in a vulnerable position. So look, when they finally let him come out into General Pop or in a little pot or whatever, that's when the dude go over there and be like, listen, man, um, these dudes want to put pressure on you, and then he make a friend to him. And then when, if there might be a dude that the homie, homie, it might be a dude that the feds planted in that joint. You feel me? And it might be an undercover officer. And look, he be telling Diddy, I'm going to get you up off. I'm going to get all these other wolf niggas up off you. But those be cops too. They be undercover feds with jail shit on. Because they ain't got to worry about nothing. They, they put a simulation for Diddy. And then they kept his ass in 23-hour lock-in. So as soon as he come out, that nigga ain't talked to nobody in 18 days. 23 hours locked in. He's not used to shit like that. So I'm saying, son, look, I know you're going through some shit or whatever. And look, that's an undercover nigga. And he running his mouth. But I don't think he that stupid. But anyway, this is how stupid he really was, though. Because Diddy got in trouble in the feds. By using other motherfuckers' phone ID shit. Because, look, they give you a little pin number shit. If you've never been in jail, they give you a little pin number. You punch that shit in, and then you got to punch nine or whatever the fuck. But that shit says that Lashim the guard is on the phone. So if I got a body or some crazy shit, they're going to be listening to everything I say. And they tell you right there that the call is being recorded. So Diddy know that too. So Diddy Pi said, all right. The feds know that Diddy probably know that. So he probably said, or they know that he's smarter than that. So they got another nigga that said, I'll let you make a call under my shit. And the feds won't know that it's you on my shit. Yes, they will, stupid ass. Because look, when you be locked up in the pod, there's cameras that see all of us stupid in case we get in a fight or something. So there's cameras that record the shit for when you go for in your fraction, when you bang the nigga out or something. So you got to catch him in a blind spot. But the phones and all that shit is fucking being monitored by the camera, you fucking idiot, Diddy. And you better wake the fuck up or you gonna fuck around and get life in that motherfucker. Because right now, you already got a fucking indictment where they gonna give you like 15, 20 years if you lose, motherfucker, and you 56. And now they add more shit on, saying you using other inmates' shit to intimidate witnesses. That's what he's in there for right now. They saying that Diddy got on the fucking phone Using another motherfucker ID, not me, cause I ain't going to jail. But um, using another motherfucker ID. Now this how that shit go for all the other who don't know. I if I'm letting Diddy use the phone, I gotta pick up the phone and dial my fucking ID number, and then hand this nigga the phone, and then he could tell some bitches make a three way and all that. And three way shit is against the law. I mean, not against the law, but it's against the institutional regulations. So you could get fucking six months for making a three way call in effect. You feel me? Now, dig this. Diddy, money can't buy this shit right here. So, a nigga might, the feds might have already put some niggas in there. Some bitch ass, snitch ass niggas that's really inmates. And then a couple of fed undercover niggas that's acting like inmates. He act like he keeping dumb niggas off Diddy. Walking around, it's my men. They all like, yo, what up? Yo, son, what up? They giving this nigga homage. But he's a cop. And Diddy start, yo, look, they don't know where I put the other guns and all this weird shit. And you fucking yourself harder. And he tell you, I think you should call your sons and tell them make some moves. You calling them little boys. The feds is watching all that shit. You gonna get your sons gobbled up. Yo, look, I just want y'all to get in the comments and tell me what the fuck y'all think about that. But let's get right into the facts of this shit. I want to give y'all the facts of this. All right, look, number one, Diddy got set up by other inmates because nigga. You in the feds. You going upstate. How many of them niggas is stand up niggas? Ask yourself. Get in the comments. Because the, I'm facing 10 years. But not me. I'm never doing that. But a motherfucker is facing 10 years. And the feds is saying, help us set Diddy up. And we promise you're going to do two years at the sweet shit. Oh, he's fucking Diddy over. He don't even know this nigga. And plus they be like, he'll never know. 
Just let him use your fucking phone shit so we can hear what the fuck he's doing. And don't ask him too much shit. But just make friends with this nigga. And we got these other three motherfuckers in there. Big goon motherfuckers that's going to put pressure on him. And you get it off, off him. And they going to act like they listen to you. So he could get your trust. And they going to fuck you with no grease, Diddy. You feel me? And you're supposed to be smarter than that, nigga. Look, you heard your boy, Jay-Z. Look, Diddy said only, Jay, only person in this world who could call me Sean is Jay-Z, right? Well, you better fucking listen to Sean's rhyme. He said, one day you're cruising in your ride and everything's fine. The next week you hit with the Rico. They repo your vehicle. Everything was good just a week ago. You had a butler and all that shit just a week ago, right? You ready to start bitching, ain't you? You ready to start snitching, ain't you? I forgive your weak ass because it just ain't in you, bitch. You feel me? But you better get it in you. And look, then... Diddy's father is a fat. I ain't dissing a nigga. The truth don't give a fuck if you like it or not. But his father ratted on Frank Lucas and them niggas. You see that big, um, what's his name? Um, the nigga that gave the, I just did a video on him in Jaguar. Courtney Burgess, the big black nigga that, from Jersey, that gave the 11 hard drives for Diddy. His fucking uncle or grandfather or somebody was Frank Lucas. And he said him and Diddy had fucking beef for 30 years, generational shit, because Diddy dad ratted. And everybody know that Diddy dad ratted, and he fucking got killed. And look, the fruit don't fall too far from the tree. There's already shit on the internet saying that Diddy been a federal informant. You feel me? That he was using his political connects, and he got... Barack Obama to get one of his mans out of jail. But look, let's continue. So look, he already fucking asked some nigga in the feds that he don't fucking know. Can I use your phone shit? Yeah, these niggas ain't never gonna find out. I'm the big nigga. Dial that nigga shit. The feds had the big ass stupid headphones in the other room listening, you dumbass. Look, so he got in trouble for that shit, for unauthorized use of the phone, using the three-way. Um... He, he don't know. Now, look, let me just say this. Everybody, and I want to close this. Everybody's saying that Diddy um, is a billionaire, right? So, you know, money buy a lot of shit. That's true. And it might get you your freedom back if you play your fucking hand right. But he playing his shit all wrong. He like, oh, they laugh on putting tapes, all this weird shit. We're going to release some shit on Netflix. That should be the furthest shit from your mind, motherfucker. You should be trying to get back to those twins and those boys so you could guide them right, motherfucker. You already did enough havoc, but now you're going to see. But yo, check it out. Um, Look, the feds is not fucking around, man. Look, let me tell you something. 